That was genuinely one of the most difficult things I've ever done in my entire life. My entire life. I've been making productivity YouTube videos for the last seven years. And one of the most commonly asked questions I get, and I get asked this almost every day, Mike, what do you do when every part of your body is telling you to procrastinate? When you really don't want to work, what do you do? Well, this is what this video is going to be about. So I've got a 30 day challenge and I'm going to write 1,000 500 words a day for the next 30 days and you think okay that's not too difficult but I've just jumped off a 15 hour flight from Vietnam to Los Angeles I landed about one and a half hours ago I'm super super jet lagged I didn't get much sleep last night at all it's a 14 hour time difference between Vietnam and Los Angeles so I know that this is going to be so so difficult but I want to kind of show you in real time what I do when I really don't want to work when I really just want to give up and procrastinate go back to bed do anything but work this video is going to take 30 days to make and i'm going to take you through step by step what i do and hopefully by the end of the 30 days at least this is the idea i have a book about 45,000 words written that i can then go and edit and start publishing but first things first i'm really hungry but the problem is it's 1 a.m here the only place that's open to eat is denny's so I'm gonna go and eat and then go to bed and then start this challenge first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, so I had a good night's sleep last night. Well, I say good night's sleep. I had about three and a half hours sleep, but I feel good today. I'm honestly a little bit apprehensive when it comes to writing a book in, in 30 days. I'm not really sure whether I'm biting off more than I can chew. I know that by writing a book, it can take years, right? And I'm going to be doing this in 30 days and I know that this month is going to be absolutely manic even without writing a book so we'll see how it goes this is day one and I'll show you right now what I have written so far so I've got somewhat of a structure so the aim is 45,000 words in 30 days I've written about 500 words out of that 45,000 words but today is day one let's see how it goes it's going to be a challenge but I've never been one to back away from a challenge this is day one June the 21st 2023 let's go Day two, feeling the jet lag, but fighting it and feeling good. 1,500 words, let's go. So it's day two, it's nine o'clock in the morning. I've just finished my second 1,500 words. I did 1,500 yesterday, 1,500 today. We're doing well. I felt a little bit jet lagged, a little bit tired this morning, but there was nothing that a quick Starbucks coffee couldn't sort out. One of the reasons actually why I'm writing this book is that I'm doing a lot more speaking gigs this year. So it's 9 a.m. now at 11 a.m. I'll be speaking at VidCon here in Los Angeles. I'll be talking about the obstacles that YouTubers come across. And that's also one of the reasons why I'm writing this book because if you look at any speaker the vast majority of them are also authors so I'm working on increasing my personal brand and you know writing a book is just one of those things that adds credibility if I do want to be doing more speaking gigs in the future writing a book is a very kind of evergreen way of increasing your profile as opposed to YouTube like YouTube can delete your channel at any moment so writing a book once you've written that book it's like you've got that forever so I've got that in two hours well one hour 55 minutes and so I'm gonna start preparing for that now. So firstly, I bought this plug adapter, Vietnam plug socket to US plug socket adapter. You could probably get it for maybe two or three dollars from Amazon or eBay or something like that. $25, this thing cost me $25 from the hotel gift shop. I bought it three days ago. I'm still reeling about it. So it's 5.15 in the morning. The sun hasn't yet come up. The best part of the day. So I did my VidCon panel yesterday. I was asked to talk about the obstacles the YouTubers come across of which there are many i think one of the biggest obstacles is that youtube really is a treadmill you've really got to be uploading every single week and to do that for years it can really affect your mental health and i was talking to an agency owner yesterday and she was saying that youtubers 
a psychotic and I was like well, how are YouTubers psychotic and she was like the fact that you have to upload videos every single week you have to film them you have to edit them and you have to upload them every single week for years there's got to be something a little bit wrong with you and to be fair she has got a point I wouldn't go as far as saying YouTubers are psychotic but I do understand where she's coming from it's kind of similar to this writing challenge writing 1500 words for 30 days it's tough but at the same time it's only for 30 days and I think that is relatively healthy because I'm just doing it for 30 days if I was doing this for years then I would say that's probably too much but anyway I'm planning on getting this writing done early in the morning I'm heading to this Starbucks right now it's the only coffee shop in the whole area that is open at this time so I'm gonna get my 1500 words done right now I've realized that it's not the 1500 words of writing a day that actually is the hardest part the hardest part is coming up with really powerful golden nuggets some really powerful writing that will fit into that 1500 words the powerful ideas it's not the writing itself it's the quality of the writing not the quantity of the writing and so I've been kind of preparing over the last year year and a half and I've got this knowledge bank here of just kind of like powerful ideas that I want to add to the book so it's not like I've just randomly decided to write a book and now I'm just writing but I've kind of been preparing for this for the last one and a half two years I've been coming up with ideas I've been brainstorming but the thing that I've been procrastinating on ironically is the actual writing itself so I've got the ideas now I just need to put those ideas onto paper As of right now though, it's coming up to 10 p.m. and I started working at about 4.35 in the morning. And right now the only place open is Denny's right behind me. I'm gonna go and eat some burgers and onion rings probably. <laughs> Day five. It's day six, it's about 10 past five in the morning. We're heading to Starbucks nice and early. Two nice wins yesterday. Firstly, I made my first TikTok video yesterday a lot easier than I thought it would be. That software is genuinely impressive. Secondly, I was ID'd for the first time in about seven or eight years. I forget that the legal drinking age here is 21. I don't think I look 21, but I'll take it. A few days ago, I met a guy who sold a book publishing business for $500 million. Ridiculously experienced guy when it comes to publishing books and writing books. And I'm very aware that because this is my first book, I have a lot of gaps in my knowledge when it comes to writing a book because I've never written a book before. So I sat down with him for about 45 minutes an hour and I recorded the whole conversation. What is the kind of number one mistake that you see new authors making that you uh... kind of pivot me away from doing that well the one thing I would say to you is don't try to get it to be perfect yeah because you don't really know it means you don't have to procrastinate about getting it to be perfect yeah you can say I have enough here to have a conversation with an agent and then the agent will give you a point be like an agent who gets it will go like oh right this this and this I think is your strongest stuff because even though you don't know it you know what's uh, what else is online but I know what is in bookstores and this this and this are well covered but this is not. Yeah. And then they will help you write that proposal and then put it out in front of 20 publishers. But it's meeting people like this, meeting publishers, meeting agents, meeting authors, and really just kind of picking their brains to make sure that I'm on the right track is such an important component to this whole book writing process. One of the best golden nuggets that he gave me was don't get too wrapped up in the writing process. Just get your thoughts onto paper. Don't spend too much time editing and making it perfect. Also, interestingly, look where I am. Hollywood Walk of Fame. So I met a YouTuber and founder called Marina Bagilko and she's got about 8 million subscribers on one of her channels and 2 million on another. So I asked her, because I've got a million subscribers, what is the number one way to get from 1 million subscribers to 8 million subscribers? She says shorts. Shorts make up 80% of total views on YouTube. And so since then, I'm just going all out with shorts, not only on YouTube, but on Instagram, on Facebook as well. Take a look where I am. 
Right there is the infamous Hollywood sign. Day 10, now I did not expect this. I missed the last three days. The reason being, well, firstly, I was on a 14 hour flight from the US to Vietnam, but mainly because my laptop display broke and I didn't fancy writing 1,500 words a day on my iPhone or an iPad mini. But I think that's a really important lesson that if you are doing one of these 30 day challenges and life does get in the way, then it's important to keep that momentum going and get back on the wagon as soon as you possibly can. So I have my laptop back. I got it back this morning and I'm getting straight to it. It's about 4th. 35 in the morning i'm heading to a 24 7 coffee shop and it is so nice to be back in vietnam finally you guys know that i'm doing a writer book in 30 day challenge what maybe you don't know up until now is that i'm doing four challenges simultaneously the first challenge is to post a story on instagram every single day dead easy doesn't need any editing the second challenge is to turn that story into a short and edit it and upload it on the four social medias facebook youtube tiktok and instagram the third challenge is to create a long form clip like i'm doing right now for youtube and the fourth challenge is the main challenge is to write the 1500 words so i start at about 5 a.m sometimes i start at 6 a.m that means that I can finish by 8 a.m. at the latest 9, meaning I can kind of get it out of the way in the morning when I have the most kind of energy, and then the rest of the day I can focus on doing actual work as opposed to challenges like this. But what I like about these challenges is that it's not easy, right? They're not supposed to be easy, but what's nice is that it's only for 30 days. So you can kind of just go all out for 30 days, and then after that 30 days, hopefully you would have built some habit. So after this 30 days, I do still plan on creating short form content every single day. And I think that's why these challenges are so powerful because they help you build daily habits that after the 30 days, you can then hopefully maintain. So it's 5 a.m. now, I'm gonna go and find a 24 hour coffee shop and go and start editing and writing. I'm currently at my friend's book launch. You can just see it happening right there. So Dr. Hugh Wilburn, he's just launched a book called The Bug in Our Thinking. Fascinating, fascinating book. The book is about how we think and questioning our thoughts and our beliefs. Really interesting book. And hopefully one day, maybe in one year's time, maybe in two years time, I will be having my own book launch. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hugh is a very, very successful author. He's had many bestsellers in the past over the last I don't know, 20 years or so. And this is a big part of the book writing process is meeting authors that are very successful and learning from them. Because as I said earlier on, I am new to writing a book. This is my first book. And so picking the brains of people that have already done it before me is really a big part of this process. So later on, maybe in a week, maybe in a week and a half, I'm gonna meet up with Hugh and really kind of pick his brain and learn what makes a good book and what makes a mediocre book. Heading to Starbucks every morning. This is my life now. Thank you. And I am also coming to the realization that I might not be able to hit this 1,500 words a day for 30 days, because if I did that, it would be at the significant detriment of the quality of the book. And I just don't think that trade-off is worth it. I'd rather write 30,000 words, but those 30,000 words are phenomenal as opposed to 45,000 words, but those 45,000 words, I would have to delete half of them in the editing process. So that's kind of my thinking right now, but I am happy with the progress that we're making. We've got 14 days left in this challenge. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a podcast with best-selling author, Peter Ludwig, who's the author of the book, The End of Procrastination, it has over around 500,000 copies sold worldwide. Peter is also in the process of writing his own book, interestingly, on your underlying purpose, right? So he's already written a book on procrastination, but the fundamental component to overcoming procrastination is your underlying purpose, burning so strong that it can kind of propel you and motivate you through the day. And that's what his next book is about, because believe me, and I know this from personal experience, if you have a strong enough purpose, purpose, you're going to be procrastinating significantly less. And this is a great opportunity for me to learn from Peter because it's important to learn from your mistakes. We could all agree on that. It's better to learn from other people's mistakes, but it's best to learn from other people's successes. 
the last day. That was genuinely one of the most difficult things I've ever done in my entire life. It was genuinely exhausting. The first two weeks, or maybe the first three weeks, was actually relatively easy. The last week, oh my goodness. So the big question, did I hit my 45,000 word target? No, no I didn't. I didn't realize how many words I would write and then delete. There were a couple of days where I just deleted about 30% of the entire book, but I'm glad that I did because I'm super happy with the direction of the book now. So I hit, I think, 19,400 words, which is okay. The biggest lesson here though, do not bite off more than you can chew. Meaning, writing 1,500 words every day or attempting to near enough destroyed me. It took up about three hours of my day every day. And bearing in mind, I'm also running two companies. So some days I was starting work at like 4.30 a.m and finishing it past 10 p.m., which of course is not sustainable. Now that the challenge is over, I'm going to be aiming for about literally 200 to 300 words a day, so I can really kind of focus on enjoying the process of writing rather than just burning out, aiming for just sheer quality. Along the way, while I was in California, I interviewed a guy called Bill Alamire. He's a very successful career coach. He's 86 years old, but you would never tell looking at him, an incredibly inspiring guy. And I asked him, what is the one actionable step you can implement in your life to live a happy life? Because, you know, I was curious, he's been on this planet for 86 years, and he said, you have to enjoy the process of what you're doing. Learning and living go together. Yeah. Because if you stop learning, you stop living, really, and people don't live as long as they could. Yeah. And all the people that are up in their 90s that I know that are doing well are working. Yeah. You have to find a way to re-motivate and re-energize yeah. yourself and get this thing going up here. Whatever you're doing, whether it's writing a book, whether it's working, whether it's going to the gym, whatever, live in the moment and do everything you can to make sure that you enjoy the process. So the draft manuscript for the book is almost finished. Now there's multiple rounds of editing. I need to find an agent, then a publisher, and then more rounds of editing. So realistically, this process can take years. So the book will probably be published in one or two years. Follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn to stay up to date with the progress. I'm posting daily stories on Instagram. Just type at Real Mike D into Google and you'll find me. And if you want to start your own 30 day challenge, maybe you were inspired by this video and there's a project or something you've been putting off for a while, maybe like me writing a book or going to the gym or waking up at 4 a.m. every morning. I just recently made a video on how to go about a 30 day challenge in the most strategic way, genuinely life changing these 30 day challenges. You can click on the card on the screen to watch that and good luck. Boom.